Alright, hey, how are we all doing today? Welcome to another episode of Bubblegum Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing The Last of the Mohicans with Daniel Day-Lewis and Wes Studi. Uh, for my grade on this one, I'd give it a 8.5 out of 10. It was very good. This is actually the first time I've seen it all the way through. It was uh, on Thanksgiving. Um, my favorite scene would probably be, have to be the one... Uh, when I, I don't know how to pronounce the dude's name in the movie, but I'm just going to say when one of the good guys throws his weapon that he uses at the bad guy, that, that whole scene was really good. Uh, also, the kind of near the ending scene when they go after the girl to try to save her, that whole scene is awesome as well. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Director Chris, no, no, not Chris, uh, di director Michael Mann, who also was the producer of The Kingdom and director of Collateral and Heat. I actually enjoy all three of those movies, so, yeah, that's, uh, he's a pretty good director. Uh, let's see, Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 95%, IMDb gave it a 7.7 7 out of 10, Dog Bones gave it a 3 out of 4. Uh, box office, $75 million on a $40 million budget. And interesting fact is this is Daniel Day-Lewis's first big budget Hollywood movie. Uh, my favorite part of this movie would probably be, have to be the score. The score on this is great. Um, other than that, yeah, very good movie. It's got... Wes Studi and uh, I can't think of the other guy's name right now, but it's got some good Indian actors in it, uh, Native American, I should say, and yeah, it was definitely a perfect choice for Thanksgiving, but alright, yeah, good movie, good cast, and very enjoyable watch. Alright, well you guys have a good day and thank you for watching Bubblegum Reviews. Like and subscribe to my page and have a good one. Alright.